When the authorities in Paris prepare to undertake the ambitious task of draining the five-kilometer-long Canal Saint-Martin for its 2016 cleaning operation, they anticipated uncovering tons of accumulated waste and discarded items from the past 15 years. However, what the public didn't fully grasp was that this endeavor would reveal more than just debris. Crowds gathered along the canal's banks, eager to witness the retrieval of hidden treasures from their aquatic resting place. The Canal St. Martin, commissioned 23 years earlier in 1825, was finally completed to address the growing population and sanitation issues in Paris. Emperor Napoleon, who was instrumental in its development, sought to provide a source of fresh water that would not only clean the city's streets but also help combat the spread of diseases like dysentery and cholera. The construction of the canal commenced following the implementation of a new tax on wine. The extensive network included the Canal de Lewerc, the Canal Saint-Denis, the Bassin de la Villette, and the Canal Saint-Martin, with the latter making the most significant impact. The Canal Saint-Martin connected to the Canal de Lewerc through the Bassin de la Villette, flowing southward through three tunnels, one of which passed beneath the historic Bastille prison. Finally, it merged with the river Seine through the Port de l'Arsenal. The newly created ports facilitated trade, bringing in supplies of food and revitalizing the city's economy. While the canals still serve as picturesque attractions, drawing tourists to admire the bridges and locks, they have also become a cultural hub along their banks. Locals, often referred to as bobos, bourgeois bohemians, frequent the area's nightclubs and cafes, adding to its vibrant atmosphere. However, with large crowds came increased waste generation. Recognizing the need to maintain the canal's functionality in the 20th century, Paris officials established a regular drainage and cleaning schedule every 10 to 15 years. This massive operation involves emptying the canal and removing accumulated debris and trash. Each time, curious onlookers gather to witness this unique spectacle, ensuring that the tradition of public fascination with the canal's cleansing continues. In 2001, during the previous drainage of the canal, an astonishing array of curiosities emerged from its depths. Among the staggering 40 tons of debris retrieved, they unearthed remarkable finds, including a car, a washing machine, gold coins, safes, and even two 75 mm shells from World War I. Now, 15 years later, anticipation ran high as people eagerly awaited the unveiling of the canal secrets once more. The ambitious project commenced on January 4, 2016, and was slated to span three months with a budget exceeding $10 million. To prepare for the draining, the 3 million cubic feet of water had to be evacuated, ensuring the safety of the fish dwelling in the canal. Consequently, the water level was reduced to a mere 20 inches, and three days were dedicated to relocating the carp, bream, and trout to various sections of the waterway. The grand spectacle commenced on January 7, drawing hundreds of spectators keen to witness the treasures hidden beneath the mud-caked canal bottom. Initially, the objects retrieved appeared to align with expectations. Beer and wine bottles, shopping bags, traffic cones, street signs, and umbrellas. However, closer inspection revealed an eclectic trove of oddities, including a vintage stereo, a fire extinguisher, a doll's pushchair, and even an abandoned toilet. While no car was found this time, an abundance of another mode of transportation more than compensated for it. To the surprise of many, the most common item dredged from the canal turned out to be bicycles. In 2007, the city launched the Valib Initiative for Bicycle Rentals, resulting in an influx of over 14,000 bicycles within the city. It appeared that a significant number of them had found their way to the canal's murky depths. Local resident Mark expressed his astonishment, stating, It's like some kind of weird submarine treasure. I just can't believe the quantity of valibs in there. I guess they were stolen and thrown in afterward. It's bizarre. However, other residents were dismayed by the vast volume of trash polluting the canal. Bernard, a 54-year-old local, believed that the litter problem had worsened over the years. 
He recalled being present for the canal's drainage in 2001 and lamented, That's Paris for you. It's filthy. The last time, I don't remember seeing so much rubbish in it. I despair. The Bobos are using it as a dustbin. Nevertheless, the government was acutely aware of the issue. Paris Deputy Mayor, Celia Blauel, seized the opportunity presented by public interest in the canal's cleaning to raise awareness. In an interview, she expressed hope, saying, if everyone mucks in and avoids throwing anything into the water, we might be able to swim in the canal in a few years. The canal held immense cultural significance, providing motivation to keep it clean. Today, the canal serves as a vibrant multimedia art space at 104 Rue d'Aubervilliers, adorned with numerous elaborate graffiti artworks. Throughout its history, the Canal Saint Martin has inspired countless artists, including the Impressionist painter Alfred Sisley, whose works can be viewed at the Orsay Museum. It has also played prominent roles in award-winning films like Emily. Undoubtedly, the canal remains an integral part of Parisian culture, a legacy dating back to its completion in 1825.